Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm attempting to make Chris's bed and I cannot be bothered. It's so hot and sweaty in this room. The fan is on high and it does absolutely nothing. So, I'm just gonna make this really quickly and I'll just put some music on the top so it looks like I'm having a really good time. Music. finally going to film the Q&A that I was meaning to film a few months ago but I don't want to do it in the normal fashion that people do Q&As where you just sit down answer questions I find that really boring and I would never watch something like that so the way I've decided to do it is to kind of just have a normal day and throughout my day I'm just going to answer questions that are relevant to what I'm doing in the day so I've broken up the questions that I received into, I guess, categories and I'm going to try and answer them in the relevant time to what I'm doing. I'll just start with like the really basic stuff. So my name's Maddie. If you didn't already know, I am 22 years old. I live in the guest country, Victoria. I live about an hour from um, Melbourne, like the city. I can just see my I recently graduated from La Trobe University with a Bachelor of Nutrition, so I am a qualified nutritionist as of December. What do I do for work? I am a receptionist at a spinal and natural medicine centre, as well as obviously running my blog and hopefully building a YouTube channel if you guys are enjoying my stuff. If you're not, obviously that's not going to go well. And then I am just on Instagram um, working with brands, working with different companies, creating content and yeah, blogging for different companies as well. That's all I'm going to answer for now. I need to jump in the car and drive to my house, so let's go. So I've just gotten back from home, just had to go pick up a few things for work tomorrow and also had to pick up my tripod, which brings me to my next question, um, which was about my equipment that I use for YouTube. This is the camera that I use to film on. So it's the Canon G7X. It's a really good camera and it has a little flip screen so you can see stuff when you are talking and then also I just use a gorilla tripod so you can yeah just see that it moves and you can just pop it in any position that you like so that's what I use to film on this tripod so Valbon EX888 I got it ages ago like I'm talking three years ago so I don't know if you can still get it it's adjustable so these open to make it bigger or smaller. Finally, this is the camera that I use for taking photos. So for like my blog and my Instagram. So it's the Canon 500D and I've just got a fixed 50 millimeter lens on here. So yeah, that's all the equipment that I use for YouTube and my blog. If you guys would like me to do like a dedicated video on YouTube and like everything that I do, just leave me a comment down below and I'd be happy to do like a full dedicated video, but I don't want to do it if no one's interested in it at all. <laughs> I would find it interesting, but yeah, you guys are the ones watching it, so just let me know. Okay, so next question is, do you meal prep or do you cook every single night? I am a busy mum and I also work, so I really want to get into meal prep but don't know how to go about it. Okay, so I don't really meal prep per se. I will make my dinners bigger so that there are leftovers for my next day's lunch. However, I do meal prep for Chris. So Chris and I will make a lot of meals. He prefers to always have something in the fridge to take with him. So today I am actually going to be doing some meal prep which will be in a different video in like two videos time. The way I go about it is to get similar recipes with similar ingredients so that you don't have to buy like completely different ingredients for every single meal. That way you can buy them in bulk. So if you're using chicken, for instance, you can buy like a lot of chicken, which will mean that it's cheaper for you. I just write a shopping list out, go buy the ingredients, and then I just put aside a couple of hours 
and I prep it all. I do prep a lot of my snacks. So I will, if I buy a watermelon or a pineapple, I'll chop it all up, put it into a container so it's just ready to go. If I ever get hungry or if I feel like something really sweet, it's just ready to go in the fridge. I don't have to chop it up. I'm just gonna write my shopping list before I go get groceries and start meal prepping. Normally I would actually walk to the shops because I'm really, really close, but I don't know how much shopping I'm gonna have, so I'm gonna drive. finished shopping had to go to three different places so I went to Aldi like a really nice fruit veggie market and then the butcher for all my meat I don't mind going to different places because it means that you're getting really good quality ingredients so like my eggs for instance were really cheap at the butcher they're free range I think it's better that way as opposed to going to like Woolworths and getting everything and you can usually find things like a lot cheaper so now I just gotta go home prep all the ingredients and start cooking basically the one thing I hate doing is multiple trips back and forward from the car. I will hurt myself before I do multiple trips back and forth from the car to get shopping. I'm super lazy like that. I have two fans on and I'm still boiling. So while I make these muffins for Chris, I'll answer all the food related questions that I have. What are your favorite healthy meals? That is a really, really hard question because I love so many different types of food. I'll probably say one of the healthy meals that I, I guess, go to and absolutely love is salads because they're just so easy to make and you can make them so different every single time and so filling and satisfying. So I know a lot of people associate salads with like a couple of lettuce leaves and some tomato, but if you're making a proper, like decent salad, they are epic. Possibilities are endless with salads. Different proteins, different fillings, different lettuces, different dressings. You can get really creative with salads and that's what I love about them. What is your eating style and what do you think the best style is for losing weight? Well, that's a very big question and I could probably dedicate an entire video to that. So if you do want to see something like that, leave me a comment down below. My eating style has changed a lot over the years, um, but at the moment it is definitely quite intuitive and I don't count calories, I don't count macros. Um, I simply eat, I guess, what I wanna eat when I want. That said though, I don't really eat a lot of processed sugar. I tend to stick to fruits for sugar and I don't eat bread. I don't really eat grains that much anymore. Um, that's just a personal preference, not necessarily for losing weight at all. I definitely eat mostly whole foods, so I try to make everything myself um, and I rely on vegetables, lean meat, nuts, seeds, um, healthy fats, so avocados, coconut oil. I have a lot of really good friends that count macros, count calories, and that's the way that they lose weight. A lot of people that decide to do keto or different eating styles and it's very individual as to how you live your life and how you want to lose weight. I can't really give you an answer for that in terms of what the best eating style is for losing weight. I definitely think eating a mostly whole foods diet is really good for you but yeah it's individual. You can lose weight so many different ways. I hope that answers the question. <laughs> So another question was, what are my favorite healthy snacks? So I thought I would just show you in the fridge. Um, some of my favorite snacks is obviously fruit. So I'll just show you what I meant before. So this is just watermelon and it's all chopped up, ready to go just whenever I'm hungry or just want something really sweet. But I'll do that with like pineapple, mango, whatever fruit. My other favorite snacks are blue dinosaur bars. They're completely paleo, so there's no 
grains in them and they're made of complete whole foods. So I really, really love them. I've tried a few different paleo bars, but honestly, like Blue Dinosaur, kills it. Loving Earth when I want some chocolate, like that's really, really good. Smoothies, um, I'll just whip up like a fruit smoothie or a chocolate smoothie, little bliss balls that I make, um, muffins, slices. I actually made um, some brownies as you would have seen the other day on my YouTube channel. Um, and that's pretty much everything that I snack on in terms of, yeah, my, my favorite healthy snack. All right, so my muffins are cooking away in the oven. So while they're cooking, I thought I would answer the final questions while I stretch because I'm trying to multitask and I'm very sore from gym yesterday. What's your favorite thing to do with Chris? I have absolutely no idea. I love doing everything with him. Like I love going to the gym with him. I love cooking with him. I love going out for brunch adventures. He's always up for pretty much everything. I would like to do more like outdoor activities with him, but our work schedules are very different. So it's hard to like match up days off, but yeah, I love doing everything with him. He's fun and always up for everything. So that's, that's always good. I'm gonna wrap this Q&A video up. I really hope you enjoyed this style. I hope it wasn't as boring as a sit down video. I hope that's kind of what I wanted to achieve. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, give it a thumbs up because it does really support me and my channel and it helps me to know that I am making content that you guys like. If there's anything that you want me to make a more dedicated video on, anything from throughout this video, I would be happy to do so. I don't want to make stuff that's a little bit off topic, so like YouTube or whatever. So obviously this is a health and fitness channel, but if you guys are wanting to know about YouTube and behind the scenes of Instagram or whatever, Whatever, just leave me a comment because yeah I'm happy to take suggestions on board and also make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every Monday and Thursday I really hope you enjoy getting to know me a little bit more and I will see you in my next video